It looks like it's darker than the the foundation. Did I mess up my face? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maxine if this is your first time here. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying out the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and the e.l.f. Camel Powder Foundation. So if you're interested in how I was able to accomplish this look using mostly e.l.f. products, then continue watching. Hey guys, so to get started, I already did my eyebrows offline. So the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is supposed to be a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Now this is my holy grail. This is a new bottle that I recently opened from my Sephora haul last year. And lately I've been wearing the e.l.f. Camo CC cream and as you can see I'm almost done so yeah I thought it'd be a good idea to use the elf camo powder foundation along with the elf power grip primer so let's see what are the claims it says the claims are um, this will help keep makeup in place with this clear gel primer full of skin loving ingredients like hyaluronic acid for skin that looks and feels its best. So here it is. This is 0.811 ounces. So I'm gonna apply this on my skin. It is a pump, similar to the Hydro Grip. Let's see. Ooh, look at that. The consistency is definitely different. A little bit the same oh I do feel this does have a gel like consistency and I'm going to add this everywhere where I will be adding foundation it does dry quick it's going to add one more pump it is sticky. Next, I'm going to use the Camo CC Cream, and as you can see, I am almost done with this. This has been my go-to for the month of, I think, January, February. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to be, I don't want to say consistent, but I want, well, yes, consistent, but I want to finish the products that I use. So I purchased this, I think, in the fall, and when I first purchased this, I was like, no. I'm not wearing this foundation because I thought it looked crazy on me but it grew on me over time and I actually got compliments wearing this you know elf products are always affordable so I hope that after I'm done with this and my other foundations who knows what's gonna come out by the time I go through all of them that I can always come back to this and this I haven't used in the summertime but this was great for the winter so I'm gonna use this. I'm going to apply. I typically use one or two coats. Um, well, two coats. One is not enough and two is a little too much. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit like that. And now I'm going to apply my foundation. I'm gonna use a brush and then I'm gonna blend it with a beauty blender. So as you guys can see. So now I'm gonna use my beauty blender and just blend this foundation in. you believe look at look how good this foundation looks and it's elf not that elf you know products are bad but I 
and this has been my go-to anytime I am going to work I will throw this foundation on see see when I first bought it I was like what is this gray cast that especially on my forehead I was like ah I don't this is a no but it does like as your skin warms up it does blend and it goes away so it's not that bad and I realized I did not bring out my elf concealer it, it makes sense to use to do a full face of elf product So that is the foundation. So now I am going to use my concealer. I, did, I realized I did not put out my concealer. Uh, this is the 16 hour camel concealer and this is in the shade, ooh, in the shade Deep Chestnut. I'm almost done with this. Um, their concealers are pretty good. So I'm gonna use it right away because I know their concealers dry really fast. Did not, I don't have their setting powder, so I'm gonna use the other products that I have. I will in the future be doing a full face of certain brands, but I'm not there yet. So I'm gonna go in with my Laura Mercier setting powder um, in the color translucent. Translucent. And this is the same shade as the camel cream. This is in D 540N. So let's see. So that's oh look at that. It also comes it reminds me of MAC. It does come with a sponge. Okay. So I am going to use a brush to use this foundation. see that it is darker but I honestly I like the consistency this is dark it looks like it's darker than the the foundation did I mess up my face I think I did maybe it's a little too light so let me use another brush so 
it doesn't look bad I think I just need to do my eyes so let me work on that because I, I I'm worried that I look like ooh. let's fix this let's fix this okay so being that the found the powder is dark which I do like I think my concealer is a little too light I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the powder to under my eye the only thing is I okay I'll use the concealer no I'm not using this concealer because it's too light I'm gonna use the LA girl pro concealer for my lid because this is darker and I don't have the dark concealer and I don't want to look crazy crazier than I already look um well we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna fix this because I do have somewhere to go and I don't want this to look a little all over the place but the found but the powder is I like the the consistency of the powder it is on the darker side than the foundation okay so now I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier setting powder to set my lid and then I'm gonna go in with the with the um, and I'm using the shade medium deep the powder it doesn't look that bad I think it's just me just panicking just a little bit so I'm gonna use that I'm going to use the same powder I'm gonna use it on my lid like I need because my concern is under eye area even though it doesn't look that bad let me see how it looks with lashes oh you know what you know what could fix it I just thought about using concealer on my under eye and I will go back and reapply the concealer and I'm using the shade translucent and this is gonna contour my nose we're gonna make it work we're gonna make it work that's the art of makeup So now I'm gonna put on my lashes and I'll do that on camera because it doesn't take me long to put on lashes so I'm just using Kiss Ardell these are simple I'm using hair glue See, it doesn't look bad. 
I actually like it. So I'm just going to do the other lash. So now I'm going to use my Maybelline mascara. So I think it came together really nice. Now I'm just going to use some lippies. I should use my... We're going to do MVP. So this is the only product that's not by Fenty so this is the lip I did use the case and this is the lipstick so I'm first gonna use the lip liner I think I went with a color because my my face is so plain and I would use like the red, the nude pink that I usually do but honestly I don't know where it is right now okay so let me line up my eyes This is the final look. I'm now going to use my setting spray and This is the final look. If you enjoyed it or like how it came together, let me know in the comment section. I feel like I saved this look because at first I did not know what was going on and I felt like there was a lot of imbalances but I made it work 